how to connect your Shopify store to Facebook and Instagram shop. Hello everyone and welcome back. We all know that most of online shopping is now happening through social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, especially when people are scrolling and they see an advert for something they like, they click on the shop my button and they purchase instantly. So having your products from your store integrated onto Facebook and Instagram can be a great way for you to boost your sales. Not only that, but advertising on Google and YouTube can be pretty expensive, but if you try to do Facebook advertising and you narrow it to a very particular niche, it can build a more yielding result and a higher converting community for your store. So let's see how we can connect our Shopify store. To do this, we're first going to log on to our Shopify store. Once we have logged on to our Shopify store, we are going to click on settings on the bottom left. Once we click on settings, we're going to click on apps and sales channels and then click on Shopify app store. Now, once you click on Shopify app store, you can search for Facebook and Instagram or search for Meta and you will see this application. Now, this is really, really, really important. You want to use this particular application. Now, I know these applications have higher ratings, but these are not official applications. Even though the official app for Meta is a bit more difficult to configure, the security and privacy of your users is going to remain intact and it's just going to ensure that your Shopify store stays protected. So take a look at this application. The developer should say Meta and then just click on install. Now, once you click on install over here, this will open up a new tab. And in that new tab, you are going to click on install once more. Now, once you click on install again, this is going to complete the installation process of the Facebook and Instagram sales channel. Now you're going to find it on the left side over here under sales channels and you can just pin this to your navigation. From there, you can click on get started and then click on connect account. Now, once you click on connect account, you're going to connect your Facebook account over here to your Shopify store. Now, I already have logged in to my Facebook account with this browser, so it directly displayed my Facebook account. But if you are looking to switch your Facebook account, if you have a separate Facebook account for your business, you can choose to log out and then first log on to that one. Once you do that, you are going to connect your business portfolio. Now, I have previously created a business portfolio on Facebook, so I can choose to connect to that. Or if you want to create a new one, that is also pretty simple. You can just click on create and move to the next section. Now, once you do that, you are going to choose your data sharing preferences. How much of your data do you want to share with Facebook and Instagram? Click on save and I just like to do enhanced data sharing. After that, you are going to connect a pixel to track your customer's behavior. So click on create new and this will be created after your submission. Click on confirm and then accept the terms of service. Click on submit for review. And once you click on submit for review, in a couple of minutes, your Facebook and Instagram sales channel will then be connected. After that, you can proceed with syncing up your product and selling your product on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to do data sharing like this and use my previous pixel to make this easier. So you guys can see because my connection timed out, it did not connect properly. So I'm just going to refresh our tab over here and you might run into these basic issues. These happen sometimes. You don't have to worry, you just have to wait a little. And once you wait a little bit, you can go back and set up your shop. You guys can see we're going to click on connect account. And because I already have two pixels on Facebook, it might have some issues creating another one. So I'm just going to connect to my Facebook account like so. And then you guys can see now it's displaying my Facebook assets. So I'm going to click on connect 
Then I have my data sharing. I can agree to the terms of service. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. You will also see that you will get a message in your email address about your business name, uh, about any of the queries that Facebook might have. So that can also be something you might have to resolve with Shopify or with Facebook and Instagram setups. But I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. Now, due to regional restraints, currently I'm not going to be able to connect my Facebook and Instagram shop for this particular Shopify store. Now, this is a restriction that was previously not there, but if you are facing the same restriction, you can easily just turn on a VPN. If you have a premium VPN like NordVPN or any type of paid VPN, you can instantly connect it. And once you do connect your VPN, you would be able to go ahead and set up your campaign with Facebook. It's not going to be something that is available for all countries, considering that your Shopify store is also going to have a particular nation set up. So that might also end up becoming an issue, even if you are using a VPN. So if this this issue is still going to persist, you can set up ads beforehand and connect your ad account. Once you connect your ad account, then you can turn on a third-party platform such as NordVPN and then connect to shopping features on Instagram and Facebook as well. So this just really is going to be um, regionally varied. Now I'm going to do another connection. And because of the store settings, you can also go into settings on the left. And once you go into settings on the left, you can click on markets. In your markets, you're going to have your, you know, Shopify store markets, the places you're shipping to. So you can alter the regions you're shipping to as well as go into your general settings. In your general settings, you're going to have a billing address. So you can alter this billing address to another nation if this is still not working for you. These are just a couple of tips and tricks that could help you in finding an alternative route to connecting your Shopify store. And then you would be able to connect for most regions. It still is going to be available and you can proceed after the terms and conditions. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using Facebook and Instagram shop and connecting it to Shopify. We've set up the basics and then after that you can proceed with a simple product sync and then your products could be advertised. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.